Hey guys, Bam Guitar Dude here. So this is going to be a bit of an opinion piece, but you know, since February, March of 2016, I have been smoking corn cob pipes from Missouri Meerschaum a lot. And uh, I have had quite a few of them over all these years various models um, won't say that I've smoked every single model that Missouri Meerschaum has made but I've smoked quite a few of them um, all the way from the little small Eatons and Mark Twain's to the medium-sized pipes like the Legend and the Missouri Pride all the way up to the larger ones like the Diplomat and the Country Gentleman and I even have one of the large I forget what they call it, but it's the huge tall one. <laughs> Freehand, I guess, is what it's called. But, you know, I've I've recently picked up some newer cobs. And a lot, of, a lot of the cobs that I've had over the years, I've given them away as gifts to people who um, just wanted an extra pipe or wanted to get into pipe smoking. I've gifted a lot of cobs um, through all these years but more recently I ordered a couple of cobs and I'm you know been smoking them breaking them in whatever and I've noticed that um, I've noticed something interesting and I and I it makes me wonder why you know I've been given away the nicer cobs that I've bought over all these years. In other words, the finished ones. You know, the finished ones are typically more expensive than the unfinished ones. But but anyways, so these are the two that I've ordered. And I put pipe mud in this one, had a video on that. And this is the other one that I ordered. You can see it's coloring up nicely. This is the finished one. And they both smelled very cobby when I got them. Uh, very corn, corn cobbish smell to both of them when I first got them. Um, but this one tastes so much better than the finished one in terms of just a neutral taste to this, to the tobacco. I don't pick up any of the cob, you know, uh, ghost in this unfinished cob than I do in this finished cob. And I wonder why that's the case. Um, I, the only thing I can think of is that because this is finished, it traps in that cob corn taste and there's nowhere for it to go. Whereas this one being unfinished, it's like a radiator. It allows the corn cob pipe to breathe but I mean it does explain why this guy right here which I showed in another video is you know still the one that's in my collection and this one I ordered in 2016 and I still have it it smokes great and I smoked it this morning and it, it the tobacco tastes great in this corn cob pipe and it's an unfinished pipe I also really like this one this was a homebrew uh, unfinished pipe that Badger Piper made for me um here's another one that he made for me for my birthday it's a finished cob um and actually you know it smokes it smokes pretty good um here's the stubby gentleman that was uh that won the arista cob award by cane rod piper this is his pipe that he made for me a uh, really cool pipe and then this one, of course, is not corn cob, but this is the um, the Ozark, I think is what it's called. It's a hardwood uh, Missouri Meerschaum pipe. But anyways, uh, yeah, so which pipe should you buy? In my opinion, you should buy the unfinished cobs. I mean, these unfinished ones just taste and smoke better to me. Uh, but... I wanted to give you a, a bonus tip here. This is clear fingernail polish. And one thing you can do on these cobs 
that have the stickers is you can use clear fingernail polish and just paint over these stickers and it'll help keep them adhered to the bottom of your cob. So a little, little pro tip trick that you can use to keep your stickers permanently attached to your cob. But let me know in your thoughts below which cobs you've had that you think smoke really good and don't ghost the flavor of the tobacco at all. And if you've got finished ones, maybe I've that smoke great and don't flavor or ghost the flavor of the tobacco. Um, maybe I've just had, it's been the unluck of the draw for me, but I just, I just feel that these unfinished ones, they don't flavor the tobacco experience whatsoever. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.